Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today in math, we are going to be writing sentences. Math sentences. Did you know that you can write sentences with numbers and symbols? Hmm. We call those math sentences. And we're going to learn how to do that today. So let's take a look. Class, we are going to be writing some number sentences. On my apple, I'm going to put three seeds on this side. If I have three seeds on this side, what am I going to put on my number sentence? Three. Now I'm adding to three. So I'm going to put my addition symbol. How many did I add? One, two, three. So I'm going to write down three on my number sentence. Three plus three equals. The double line means equals. It means how many do we have all together? Three, four, five, six. Three plus three equals six. Three plus three equals six is a number sentence. Well, look at that. That wasn't hard at all. Well done. Let's do another number sentence. This time, I'm going to put two seeds on our apple. What number am I going to write on our number sentence? That's right, it is the number two. And then I have my addition symbol. Sometimes we say plus. Two plus, hmm, I'm only going to put one seed on that side. What number should I put here in my number sentence? It's a one. Two plus one equals. Over here, we're going to write down how many we have all together. One, two, three. I'm going to write three in my number sentence. Two plus one equals three. I'm going to put four apple seeds on this side. If I have four apple seeds, what number should I write on my number sentence? You're right. It's the number four. Four plus, and I'm going to put down two. If I have two on this side, what number am I going to put here? Of course you're right. It's the number two. Four plus two equals, well, how many? Four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. Let's try this with our pumpkin seeds. I'm going to put three pumpkin seeds on one side and two pumpkin seeds on the other. We need to fill in our number sentence. How many pumpkin seeds do I have on this side? Count them. Yell it out. It's three. Three plus, how many are on this side? Yes, it's two. Three plus two equals five. Our number sentence tells us that we have some, and then we got some more. And this is how many we have now. Let's try this again. I think I'm going to have one pumpkin seed on this side and just one pumpkin seed on the other side. For my number sentence, I would say one plus how many? Yes, it's one. One plus one equals, you know your double facts. One plus one is two. Well done. When I was walking here on the field, I picked some flowers. I picked two flowers. How many should I write down? That's right, it's two. And then I picked how many more? One, two, three. Two plus three flowers equals how many? One, two, three, four, five. Five is the total number of flowers. Two plus three equals five. This is our number sentence.
Today is such a nice fall day and I have one leaf. I'm going to write a one on my number sentence. And guess how many more leaves I have? Zero more! There aren't any more. One plus zero equals one. Let's take a look at our addition symbol or a plus symbol. We have a line that goes straight down and one that goes across. This is our plus or addition symbol. Let's look at our equal symbol. Our equal symbol has two lines that go straight across. That means equals. I would like for you to use these symbols when you're practicing writing number sentences. Class today, we were writing math sentences. We learned how to include numbers and symbols to represent what we mean in math when we add or subtract things. I hope that you have an opportunity to practice writing some math sentences and playing with some math sentences. Maybe you can do it outside or you could do it with your toys. I hope that you have fun practicing and I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.